Welcome back to the XRP podcast. Different type of episode, but with the same host, Andrew, the XRP maximalist. If you'd like to join or contribute to the XRP podcast, you can find me on Twitter at XRP podcast with two P's, where you can connect with me directly with suggestions, ideas, or any form of constructive inquiry. This is an intro series for anybody new to XRP and Ripple. It will feature educational topics surrounding blockchain, cryptocurrency, and the internet of value. Let's jump right into the interesting parts. First of all, before we begin speaking about anything, we must introduce the separation of XRP and Ripple. People are often confused because the cryptocurrency XRP is often called Ripple. However, Ripple is not XRP. Ripple is a private company that is a holder of XRP but is not actually the true creator. XRP is a cryptocurrency and by extension, a digital asset. All cryptocurrencies are digital assets, but there are other examples of digital assets available today, such as non-fungible tokens, NFTs, and soon tokenized stocks and bonds. XRP as of February 13th, 2022, is the sixth largest cryptocurrency by market cap. It's a token that provides utility by powering a decentralized ledger of a similar name, the XRP ledger. If you're not familiar with what a ledger is, think of a ledger as a book of accounts, like bank accounts, in which account transactions are recorded. Each account would have an opening or carry forward balance and would record transactions as either debits, additions to the account, or credits, which are deductions from the account and the total balance on the account. The XRP ledger functions in a similar manner. However, it's given wings by operating through a decentralized system. The purpose of the XRP ledger is to function as a distributed real-time payment protocol for anything of value. It's an open source code, decentralized global exchange that was created and distributed by Arthur Brito, Jed McCaleb, and David Schwartz who together subsequently gifted the private company Ripple, which they had co-founded, 80% of the total supply of XRP. So that's 80 billion XRP tokens out of 100 billion that will ever be made and ever be in circulation. Founded in 2012, first called New Coin, then Open Coin, and later renamed in 2013 to Ripple Labs, Ripple has placed about 55 billion of the XRP tokens it owns into a secured escrow account from which it can release 1 billion XRP tokens every month. However, they have not actually done so to avoid over flooding the market with XRP and harming the value. However, Ripple does not actually own the XRP ledger, even with all that XRP. Neither Ripple and nobody else in the world can stop transactions on the XRP ledger. The reason Ripple uses XRP is because the cryptocurrency is used to facilitate transactions on the Ripple network, also known as RippleNet, using the XRP ledger. RippleNet offers enterprise clients connections to hundreds of financial institutions around the world via a single API. If you're not familiar with what an API is, it's short form for Application Programming Interface. An API is basically a software intermediary or software middleman that allows for two applications to talk to each other. Through that API, RippleNet makes moving money faster, cheaper, and more reliable for banks and their clients. RippleNet also allows banks to reduce or even eliminate the need to pre-fund accounts when conducting cross-border transactions with on-demand liquidity, or ODL a Ripple patented service that uses the digital asset XRP to source liquidity during cross-border transactions as an alternative to traditional financial systems. The virtual currency XRP acts as a bridge for exchanging value between various fiat currencies as well as providing a source of liquidity. The protocol began development by web developer Ryan Fugger with its current iteration having been developed since 2012 alongside the formation of Ripple Labs. 
XRP was created to provide a solution to all critical problems with Bitcoin by solving the high transaction costs and the low transaction speeds that are a staple mark of the world's most expensive digital asset. Beyond that as well, solving the critical issue where if one person or one entity gains control of 51% of Bitcoin miners, they can effectively take over the network. XRP is a digital asset built for settlements. It's permissionless blockchain technology that can complete and settle transactions in as little as three to five seconds. XRP can be sent directly without needing a central intermediary and can't be stopped by any individuals or third parties. There is an important reason that we use the word settlement as opposed to payment. When people use a credit card, that's considered a payment. When dollars are debited from an issuing bank, the cardholder's bank account, and credited to an acquiring bank, the merchant's bank account, that's considered a settlement. XRP is a global settlement digital asset. As a bridge currency, XRP can instantly convert any payment into its needed local currency. Transactions on the XRP ledger are verified by node operators who validate the authenticity of transactions. Node operators are independent network operators that confirm all outstanding XRP transactions every three to five seconds, after which the confirmed transactions are then updated by them on the XRP ledger. Anybody can run a node on the XRP ledger. XRP can consistently handle up to 1,500 transactions per second, 24-7, 365 days a year, and can scale to handle the same throughput as Visa and even more. Transactions on the XRP ledger cost much, much less than a penny, with the average cost for a transaction being about 0 0.0004 cents. The XRP ledger is carbon neutral. It uses the least amount of energy possible. It's been running for over seven years with an average uptime percentage of 99.9%. There are over a thousand nodes running today worldwide, and it's the only enterprise ready blockchain solution for global payments. And the reason why enterprises like Bank of America, Microsoft, Santander, and so many other institutions over the world love XRP and the XRP ledger so much is because it's a digital asset that eliminates counterparty risk. If you're not familiar with that term, counterparty risk is referring to the probability that in an investment, a credit or a trading transaction, the other party may not fulfill their end of the deal and they may default on contractual obligations. When using XRP, you eliminate that risk. Since XRP is an open source cryptocurrency, it can be built upon and used by anybody, including Ripple, but it is not owned or controlled by any entity as it operates completely independently. Ripple chooses to use it for the development of financial products and services, but anybody can build and develop using this technology today and contribute to the development of the XRP ledger in the future. Maybe you'll be the one to create the next greatest NFT on the XRP ledger, or maybe you have a great idea for a software service that you can offer using blockchain technology. Whether you're dealing with real world cases or metaverse cases, the power is in your hands. Getting started with XRP is as easy as installing an app on your cell phone called SUM, X-U-M-M, -M, available on both iPhone and Android, where you can get started with using the XRP ledger and building your own tokens and NFTs today. If you're not interested in building tokens and NFTs, hey, maybe you just want to buy some, or maybe you don't even want to buy some. You just want to see where you can get some. You can get some XRP over at Bitstamp, Kraken, GitHub, or even the XRP-focused exchange, BitTrue. You can also previously purchase XRP on several U.S. exchanges like Coinbase. However, since the Securities and Exchange Commission launched enforcement actions against Ripple, several U.S. exchanges have temporarily delisted 
or halted the trading of XRP on their platforms. You can expect future episodes both on purchasing XRP as well as interfacing and joining the XRP ecosystem. But for now, if you would like to start today, you can check out amazing creators on YouTube who have provided several great tutorials to join the XRP ecosystem as well as to purchase the cryptocurrency if that is your own choice. Creators like Some Trust Lines, spelled X-U-M-M, Trust Lines, T-R-U-S-T-L-I-N-E-S, on YouTube, and Code Ward are both amazing channels to check out and get started with today. Links to both channels will be in the description. This has been an introductory episode detailing exactly what XRP is and why it's producing such a buzz in the financial technology world. This series will never feature ad rolls as it's purely for educational purposes. Don't forget to check out the sister episode to this, Ripple 101, where you can learn more about the origins of Ripple and what they are up to in 2022. As always, this is made with love for and by the XRP community. I am your host, Andrew, the XRP Maximalist. You can find me on Twitter at XRP Podcast with two Ps. Thank you and take care. Thank you.